Hello, welcome to a video on edge loops. So it's been a while. Uh, with this one, we're going to talk about uh, how to space your edge loops evenly around a model. So when you add a support loop on uneven geometry, all the points of that edge loop will be averaged between the ge geometry above and below. As you go to move the edge loop towards one side, you'll see a yellow indicator line, and you'll see the points get averaged out towards that edge that you're moving it towards. If you add multiple loops, you'll see that the ones above and below start to average out and conform to that nearest edge as well. On subdivided geometry, having uneven edges can affect the way that the bevels appear around the edge of the model. You can see here you've got thinner and thicker bevels appearing and this wavy pattern along the bottom. When adding edge loops, you can press E to fix it to even to one of the edges. The edge it's being even to will be indicated by a red dot and you can press F to flip this to the other side. Another way to do this is to slide the edge all the way to the profiled edge and then use the grab tool to move it down on the z-axis. You can also make an edge loop uh, flat by scaling it to zero on the correct axis. If you're working at an angle, um, you can adjust the 3D cursor to some planar geometry and then use that as the working pivot to scale uh, the edge loop to zero on. You just have to change the transform, transform coordinates at the top to the 3D cursor and you can scale this to z zero on the z-axis as before. Another way to add even edge loops at either side is to use the inset command after a selection of faces. You may need to play with the offset even and edge rail options to make sure that the geometry doesn't fold in on itself. This happens a lot on concave geometry. Another way of getting even edge loops around your model, if you're using a sub-D model, you might want to add support loops. Uh, one way of doing this is you can select sharp edges, which allows you to pick the angle, and then you can add a two-segment bevel, press P for a profile and set it to one, and this will keep the existing geometry, but add an edge loop around all the edges that you need. You can press A to change the amount afterwards. On curved geometry, if you are reducing the geometry, say to make a low poly, and you find that it's made the silhouette uneven, you can use uh, the spacing tool that comes with loop tools. Just select the ring of edges that all the problem areas go through, and then use the space tool to even them out. Thank you for watching. Take care.